You have probably heard by now, not your keys, not your crypto. A hardware wallet is the gold standard for long-term storage of cryptocurrency assets. So what are you waiting for? The Arculus wallet was selected by our lab today for research and review. Let's get started. Well, welcome everyone. My name is Sunshine at the Celts Ubel Crypto Economics Lab at the University of Cincinnati campus. In our lab, we research and review topics related to cryptocurrency. Our academic research is used for education to increase knowledge and facilitate innovation. This lab channel is a research guide developed to improve adoption in cryptocurrency technology. Today's video on the Arculus Wallet is part of the Hardware Wallet Research Guide series. This entire series provides everything needed for you to know to become your own bank and store your crypto assets safely. Let's get into the five-factor research and review along with demonstration setup and transactions with the Arculus hardware wallet. In ancient Roman mythology, Arculus was the protector god of chests and strong boxes. He stored valuables, he provided safety and guardianship to the city he protected to preserve Roman religion. Today, his story continues in the ingenious name of the Arculus Wallet. Having a Roman god looking over my private keys and guarding my valuables, well, that makes me rest at night. Arculus is a cryptocurrency cold storage hardware wallet created in 2021 by the company Compo Secure. With its HQ located in New Jersey, Compo Secure was the first established in 2000 and describes himself as a pioneer and category leader in the design and manufacture of premium financial credit cards. Compo Secure credit cards have proven swipes in the market and include HSBC Premier Black, Chase Sapphire Reserve, and American Express Platinum. Arculus is a cryptocurrency cold storage hardware wallet, but it does look different than any other device. It's shaped as a metal credit card. The hardware is the physical Arculus key card that interacts with a software application on your mobile device. You can purchase the Arculus at GetArculus.com for $99 with free two-day shipping. Customer support can be viewed on the website. There are educational videos with search categories, support email with live customer service. Arculus also has a LinkedIn page, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and a Twitter account. Consumer reviews seem favorable, with a few cons reported as difficult setup due to compatibility with a mobile device and limited coin support. The Arculus wallet supports 47 coins, including Bitcoin, XRP, ETH, and several ERC-20 tokens, along with USDT, USDC, and the PAX dollar. It does not support ADA yet, so Cardano fans will have to wait for now. The wallet does support NFT by using the integrated Wallet Connect API that connects to OpenSea to secure your NFTs to the cold storage. The app is used by a mobile device only, either iOS or Android downloads from either the Apple Store or Google Play. The Arculus cold storage wallet uses a secure NFC chip. This is the same technology as popular tap to pay cards like Apple Pay use. It uses a 13 by 5, 6 megahertz frequency to communicate with a mobile device during transactions, making it a more secure element. The secure elements include key generation, private key storage, pin validation, transaction signing, and wallet recovery. The BIP39 standard is used to create your seed words. Your seed words are used to recover your device, meaning if you lose your card, you can purchase a new one and recover your crypto assets. You can recover this with the seed word similar to other hardware wallets on the market. The Arculus secures your private keys with three-factor authentication. This includes something you are, a biometric such as a face ID or a fingerprint, something you know, a custom six-digit PIN code, and something you have, the Arculus key card. It must be tapped on the back of your removable device to sign the transaction. Each time you open the app, you can enable face or touch ID for authentication if your device has these settings. All transactions require you to at least enter your PIN and tap your card to authenticate. The Arculus key card was created for practicality and users on the go. 
Arculus is one of the fastest hardware wallets to set up and can easily fit into a wallet and looks like a credit card. It doesn't use any cables or USB and the connections never run out of power. The card communicates with the Arculus Wallet app with secure NFC tap key, which for security purposes has a range of only a few centimeters. Unlike Bluetooth, which has a range of about 10 meters. The design element of the Arculus key card is a sleek metal card with the Arculus logo on the front. With the opposite side showing a plastic layer, showing NFC signal to pass through to your mobile device. It has the shape and size of a credit card and has a 0.3 millimeter treated stainless steel, NFC enabled secure element, antenna inlay, PVC inlay, and polymer protective layer. The Arculus key card is tapped as a key for authorization with the back facing up. Placement of the card is dependent on your phone and model and directions are displayed on the website. Now it's time for the setup of the device. The Arculus box is packaged in a square sleek black box with a logo and a pull tab. In the box, you will have the Arculus card, a recovery sheet paper to write your seed words, a QR code to get started, a sticker. There will also be a card with directions. You are going to want to read this. It shows the best key card placement to use with your phone dependent on your model, either Apple or Android. Time to get started. Go into your app store and download the Arculus wallet. I will say this entire process was pretty impressive and took under five minutes. Click the get started, accept terms and conditions, and hold your card to the back of your phone. Once confirmed, you can create a new wallet. You'll then be prompted to create your PIN code. Your PIN code you choose will open your wallet. Again, hold your card to the back of your phone to scan. While it's creating, you'll see the percentage at the bottom and it will take a few seconds. Next is your recovery seed. Your recovery seed gives you access to your wallet and digital assets, known as the BIP39. Your recovery seed is the most critical part of your wallet. I'm going to say that again. Your recovery seed is the most critical part of your wallet. Write these down in order and in a safe place. If you lose your seed words, you lose your digital assets. Your seed words are proof of ownership. So if you lose your card, you can access your assets on another card with your seed words. Once you confirm, you go to the home screen and you are all set up. Now the fun part, depositing into your wallet. Let's deposit Ethereum. Click the Ethereum wallet, click receive and copy the wallet address provided. Now I'm going to use my Coinbase account to withdraw from and deposit into the Arculus. In the Coinbase account, when you go in, you go into the portfolio section and click on ETH and withdraw. The withdraw screen will have an empty wallet section where you can paste your Arculus wallet. Make sure you do a double check by going back to the Arculus wallet and confirming that the address matches your paste. Next, you'll put in the transfer amount for your first transaction. Remember to use a very small amount. Just in case you make a mistake, you won't lose a large amount of cryptocurrency. Then you once to hit the confirm, use your verification for 2A, and then done. You want to go back to your Arculus account to see if the transaction has started. You can click on your ETH account and history and see your pending transaction. See, I have 1109. To the wallet on the left, you'll see the coins and all the coins listed. And then to the right, you have your NFT for your storage of your Ethereum NFT gallery. In the settings on the right, you'll see the authorization. This is where you can enable your biometric login, your three-factor authentication. I recommend that you do that so you can log in with your face. It's just a better layer of security. You can change your PIN code and then Wallet Connect is below that. And Wallet Connect is a Web3 layer standard to connect blockchain wallets to dApps or decentralized applications. You can see the currency, you can choose which USD, get arculus.com website to get more information. And then if you don't like the white theme, you can use dark. 
You can restore your wallet for recovery, and then you can wipe your transactions. And that is about it. Now let's go ahead and withdraw some Ethereum from the Arculus wallet back to Coinbase. Really, the only time you really want to do this is for an exit ramp, meaning you're ready to either cash out or trade in. In the portfolio section, you want to hit the deposit button and click the address, which will be provided by Coinbase. Make sure that you are using an Ethereum address on your Arculus wallet and also your Coinbase. If the coins don't match, they'll never be transferred because each asset has its own blockchain. Copy your Coinbase Ethereum deposit address. Then go back to your Arculus wallet to the Ethereum wallet. Click send and paste the Coinbase ETH wallet. You wanna to check to make sure it matches um, also on Coinbase. Slow, medium, or fast transaction fees with a cost. And you are ready, hit next. You wanna enter in your code and sign your transaction with a card swipe which is your digital signature. You now see that there's a pending transaction. You should then go to your Coinbase account to confirm your deposit after your mining confirmations, on average anywhere between 10 minutes to one hour, and you are done. Well, that wraps up the review and tutorial of the Arculus wallet. You now should be able to set up your device and make transactions to store and hold your crypto assets. If you like our content, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, the Caltable Crypto Economics Lab at the University of Cincinnati. So you will be able to see our new videos for educational content, student update, and interviews. Until next time, everybody, have a great day.